G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to look at a third-party component from DevExpress. So we go to their website and go to products and check out the VCL section. Uh, you can find out all about um, the huge number of uh, components that they develop uh, and in particular we're um, looking at the Express Quantum Grid. Let's uh, create a new VCL Forms application make that fairly large and on that uh, we'll start by adding a um, CX grid which is uh, the Express Quantum Grid. So just make that nice and wide and slightly high, higher and we're just going to uh, contrast that with the standard DB grid we get with Delphi. Now I should point out that I'm not an expert uh, in using the CX grid as yet. Uh, I have used it on a couple of projects um, that I've worked on, but I haven't actually uh, sort of created a new project from scratch using it. Um, I'm just going to set the right anchor on both of these as well so that it stretches. Now we also of course need some data to, dis to display. So um, let's run a client data set and a uh, data source. Hook that up and we'll load the classic BioLife which is um, sort of one of the, the standard uh, sample data that comes with uh, with Delphi and it's been coming with Delphi since version 1 I think. Okay so hooking up our DB grid is fairly straightforward. Um, we just hook up the data source property. Now the Express Quantum Grid, um, you end up hunting uh, quite a while, basically you have to go to the, um, we've got sort of three three components as part of the grid. Um, there's the grid, um, there's this one which is kind of uh, groups of grids I think, and the grid view or table view. So a single, a single uh, grid component can have lots of different views. So we need to go to the data controller property and specify the data source there. Now you notice that the uh, we've now got a scroll bar, uh, but it's still not displaying the data. Um, we need to create all col columns. So let's now uh, run this and have a bit of a play. And if I expand this out, you'll notice uh, that we've got notes in our CX grid, but the only um, the DB grid doesn't support memos. Uh, and we can edit those, um, although it's pretty tricky uh, in the space we've got. And also the graphics visible, which is not not available uh, by default, or very very easily in the DB grid. It requires a bit of coding to get that going. And I can right click and you know load a new image, copy and paste, and all that kind of thing. Copy from there and paste it there, from, for instance. Um, so we've got notes and graphics. Uh, we can also drag a column header uh, into um, the top here and from that uh, we see that we're now grouped by category so I can expand these out and see that we've got two two different CODs um, and three different uh, races for instance and I just drag that out uh, to uh, ungroup and also we can sort by the columns. So I can click and it sorts in both directions. Whereas uh, our DB grid doesn't do anything by default. Uh, to make it sort, uh, we have to go into the on title click event. And the easiest way of doing it is on our client data sets at the index field names. We run that again. Um, we can click, and we see that it resorts, uh, but only in one direction. So, um, if you want to do it in both directions, you have to do clever things with the indexes. Uh, it's a bit fiddly, but it can be done. Um, the other thing we can do out of the box is I can click in here, and I could say I only want to see RAS, uh, Shark, and Ray. Um, for instance, we see we've got this filter down the bottom here. 
I could then customize that further and add a new condition where the length is greater than one meter. And now we've got uh, just the big fish and we can see the little indicators showing that um, we've got filters on those. And I can clear that. So that's basically the um, sort of very first impressions of uh, Express Quantum Grid. Um, that's without setting anything but the data uh, property and uh, comparing it to the, the DB grid. So the Express Quantum Grid is probably the most powerful grid that uh, is available for Delphi. Uh, it's also, I think, the most expensive, but uh, in this case, you get what you pay for. Um, the reason I'm interested in it is because uh, it's touch aware. Uh, you can do finger scrolling, which I don't think any other grid supports. So that's my first impressions of the uh, Express Quantum Grid. Um, I also need to disclose the fact that DevExpress have given me a free license um, to it in exchange for some videos, which I'm more than happy to do. I think that's a pretty good deal. So um, I'm Alistair Christie. Thanks for watching.